Hey everyone, Backyard Farmer Pat here. Today we have a whole lot of things to look at. First, we're gonna start at the most recent seedlings that we planted three weeks ago. Then we're gonna walk through the garden just to see how everything is doing after Etta. Cause you guys remember, Etta really did a number on this yard. But you're gonna see what, it, what took off with the rain and what didn't do so well. Then we're gonna end up at the side where we're gonna look at the seeds that I planted two months ago. I know you guys can't wait to see how the bok chow and the mustard greens are doing. Anyway, so let's look at what I planted three, exactly three weeks ago. So you guys remember that I bought some purple passion potatoes. It was my very first time seeing them. I bought them at Publix. And I can tell you, this is what I am most proud of. So these potatoes, as you guys remember, these are normal common potatoes. These are not sweet potatoes. I, I planted three little ones and one that was cut in half. I planted them five, like about four or five inches from the bottom. Then I piled up five inches or six inches of dirt. And the way it should work is that the potatoes, the stem should grow all the way through till it bursts through. Guys, look at this. I am blown away. This is three weeks of growth. Not only has it germinated, but all these potatoes have grown all the way through. I really and truly didn't expect this to work in, in Florida, but as I tell you, you guys, it doesn't hurt to try because now we're gonna have, I'm gonna have a bag full of purple flesh, purple splendor potatoes. I'm super excited. Then right beside it, on the same day, you remember I planted some organic um, gar garlic cloves. These are regular cloves of garlic that I bought from the supermarket. I showed you how to break them apart and guys look three weeks of growth i planted a few garlic cloves now i have a, a whole bed that is going to be a whole um container full of garlic and as i mentioned these leaves are edible i'm not going to eat it because i don't really like to eat garlic raw but mm, it tastes like garlic you can use this just like how you use scallion but it has like a slight garlic flavor so this is great next we're gonna look at our yam remember i planted those little kernels of yam so so far i don't see anything but then again it's only been three weeks i'm not sure how long it should take but no growth there yet then moving along to the indian cane which i told you is very similar it's actually what they used to make pepper pot soup in jamaica literally two days after i planted this some lizards came and ate the entire thing down but I left it alone and you can see it has all these new leaves and you can see there are new leaves coming up. So this is a win. This did well. Here, here is a purple, some purple sweet potato slips that I planted. It, it's, it's, it's growing, not, not doing much, but sweet potatoes take a long time. So I'm good here, but late, look at this beauty. I know you guys don't even recognize this. You guys don't even believe what this is. Yes. Look, this is a cassava sticks. These are the cassava sticks that I planted. Remember, I planted a, a few, three, and I said I had two to give away. I didn't have any takers, so I just stuck the other two in. And now look at this. I have five or wait, five cassava plants coming up. I'm going to let them grow here. If someone else, if someone, if one of you guys want one, I can still dig one up and give it to you. But this is my first time growing cassava and I'm extremely excited and looking forward to harvesting this next year. So let's move on to our sour sap. So you remember when Etta hit, this tree was underwater. We couldn't even find it. That's how deep the water was down there. Um, so this tree, by the time we brought it up, all the leaves were drying and falling off and it didn't look very well, but God is good because look at this. These are all fresh new leaves. So Miss Mr. Sawasop is gonna do just fine. Miss Sawasop, sorry, Miss Sawasop because she's gonna give me a lot of fruit. So Miss Sawasop is gonna do just fine. If it doesn't kill them, it makes them stronger. And she's even stronger now. Mr. Banana did well because bananas love water. So the bananas did well. And the herbs that I grew in the bag I would I feel like I want to call this a fail I'm going to try it again but I call it a fail 
So all these small ones are the seeds that I planted almost two months ago. They sprung up like within days, but they never grew any further. These bigger ones are some stuff that I transplanted from other beds, a little um, Swiss chard and mustard greens and um, stuff that I transplanted. But I would say that the bag method did not work for me this time. I would try it again, but it didn't work. Or it could be the seeds because here are some other seeds that I planted from the same batch and this wasn't in the bag. So it could be just that the seeds didn't work. So let's see what else we have. What else do we have grown in the garden? Uh, our papayas did well. I am very, very, very disappointed and hurt and about my June plums. As I told you guys, my June plums have been bearing constantly for six years. They have never not had fruit. And after um, Tropical Storm Eta, I noticed they kept getting ripe. They kept ripening and falling off. So every day we've been picking up three, four, five and eating them every day. See? But now, for the first time ever, we don't have any June plums. We have five June plums left. So I'm praying that when the spring comes, it will spring back. The leaves are still green. I'm sure it's going to be fine. It's, it's probably just in shock because this tree was actually the whole root and the stem was under water for like almost full, a full two weeks before it receded. So I'm hoping it will come back. God willing, it will come back. You did wonderful, Junie. You served me well. I know you're going to be fine. My coconut tree. Love it. Love it. It was underwater for two weeks. It loved the water. It's doing great. My cottons, my bananas, my pineapple, everything looks good. Okay, let's see what's over here. So Miss Sweets up did well. She was under the water for not for too long, for like maybe half a day. My husband rescued her. Sweet Sops don't normally like to be in a lot of water, but she seems that she's doing well. As you can see, all my ornamentals are beautiful. They're lush, they're green. And who do I have here? Oh my goodness. This is my Kiri Mango. I bought it this summer, I think in July. It was probably maybe three, four feet. But look at it, it's doubled in size. It's absolutely beautiful. It's green, it's lush. Look at these leaves. So Carrie did well. All my ornamentals are looking good. My, I had a very big bin of um, oregano and other herbs. That didn't do well under the water. That completely dried up. But it's okay. I'll get some more herbs and start again. All right, so let's look. Let's come over here to our bed that we planted almost two months ago. Everything. Hi, Miss Sunny. Hi, Goldie. You're looking beautiful. Showing off. Say hi. So this hibiscus looks kind of beat up, but she's showing me, hey, I've still got it. I still have life. Like every day or so, I get a, I get a new flower. So she'll, she'll be fine. She'll reco recuperate. My mandevilla, I had two of them. This one, it, they don't like water. This one didn't do well. It's dried up. I'm gonna cut it back and see if it'll spring back. This one is still hanging in there. You can see it's still green. I guess this one got a little bit less water. But what I did, you guys will remember, like about two months ago, I showed you my little six inch tall um, passion fruit. This is a six inch tall passion fruit. Look at it now. So it was growing, growing, growing. It grew past this stick. I put a taller stick, it grew past it. So I rested it on here. So Mandy isn't doing well. So in the meantime, I put my passion fruit and now this is gonna have passion fruit all the way across. And I'm praying, God willing, next spring, I'm gonna have some yummy passion fruit. And these are the sweet passion fruit, not the sour ones that, that a lot of us are used to. These are the nice sweet passion fruit. So you'll be joining me as I walk out and I reach up and eat my delicious, pick my delicious passion fruit. All right, so. Let's look at my pride and joy. You guys remember when we picked our veggies? We did the video on the best fall veggies and we planted our seedlings. Look at this guys. It's been just under two months. These were planted October 3rd. Today is November 29th. So it's been just under two months. Look 
at these beautiful mustard greens they struggled a lot after the rain because the rain really beat, beat them up but they came right back they came right back i've been harvesting mustard greens i put them on my sandwiches you can stir fry them you can put them in salad but you know what i'm gonna do my mom suggested this to me i'm gonna let some get fully mature and use them as pickled mustard I love mustard greens with some nice pork when you cook down the uh, mustard greens with pork. So I plan on leaving some and pickling it. And my baby bok chow. My baby bok chow, they are now ready to harvest. You don't have to wait much longer than this. When they're this size, these are actually perfect to harvest. What I normally do is, and I can't do it now, but let me try and do it. I normally just cut right, right above the first leaf and leave the roots and leaf in it will grow back some new baby bok chow or you can harvest the whole thing but i know this there's a whole lot more that i can harvest in here so it's best to leave one leaf in just cut it and when you harvest it i don't have a pair of scissors now or i'll show you but it's very easy that's a good way to harvest same thing for here you can harvest and leave the root in or you can just harvest the out outer leaves you can harvest the more mature leaves. So if you're making a salad and you just want a few mustard green leaves, you come out, you pick your mustard green leaves and you have your fresh organic mustards right from your own garden. Look how beautiful these are. And I can tell you, they taste so much better than what you get in the store. You know, this has no chemicals. This is fully organic. You know what exactly what went into it. My string beans, they're they're struggling but i leave them there they know they're, they're good for the soil as i mentioned like every week i get a few string beans you see all of them have a few on there not really profuse what i'll do is i'll definitely plant see they all have string beans on them but what i'll do is in the spring when there are longer days i will plant more spring spring um more string beans and what i'll do is probably plant some pole beans and some yard long beans so i get more beans Right, so let's see what else we have here. I planted some turmeric. Oh, did I guy did I show you guys? I, I need to show you guys my ginger. Hit pause and let me show you my ginger. I don't know how I forgot that. Ginger was right between my sweet sap and my carry mango. So I was so excited about those I forgot. Look at my ginger. My ginger has absolutely taken off. So remember I just planted a few pieces of ginger in the soil. And actually every couple of buns, I add another piece and now the ginger is huge. It's doing great. Um, you'll know when the ginger is ready, when it starts drying up. Right now it's still green, it's still growing. Probably won't be ready till the spring, but I wanted to show you guys my ginger that is doing absolutely wonderful. All right, back to the turmeric. So you guys just saw my ginger. Uh, in, the same, in the same way, I planted a few pieces of turmeric from the store. And my first piece, I planted this maybe a month ago. Or a little over a month my first little piece of turmeric popped through i'm gonna wait to see if any more i think i planted three pieces if not i'll just plant a couple more pieces over here but my first turmeric my first time growing my turmeric all right so my avocado did well it survived this i'm also very proud of you guys saw in that video two months ago i had cut everything back this this didn't even have one leaf i cut it back to just you can see where i cut it just to a y-shaped stem there were no leaves no branches and look at it guys in two months look at all these peppers and blossoms and as i said um on the previous video i had to cut this back because there were so many white flies that it was impossible to cure so i cut it back and everything is nice and fresh and look every single branch is covered with blossoms and covered with peppers in just two months this is my purple scotch bonnet that i'm going for the very first time it was also really taken up with white flies but i'm getting my very first blossoms on my purple scotch bonnet pepper so i'm super excited about this i have never grown this before but i'm getting my purple scotch bonnet here's my naysberry it's the sweetest naysberry i ever had it's from my brother's tree i planted a couple of seeds and they're growing my oregano is going great my um that's a, a pepper it's not a thyme here are more peppers and guys look here is my jalapeno pepper this is i got a jalapeno in the store 
I planted a couple of seeds and it's really really tiny but it actually has the first pepper on it and I see a couple more blossoms a little tiny peppers coming so let's see how that does but that's I bought a jalapeno from the store and I planted that seed same for all of these these are from seeds now my herbs are really doing great my sage has probably tripled in size my mint is doing great it kind of got beat up it was a lot bigger so what I'm probably gonna do when you see it like this you cut back all these dead these dead branches to encourage growth what I'll probably do is come back and cut this back use them for teas and so that it can grow more but all my mint is doing great oh actually over here looks good but I'm gonna still cut it back so it can grow my lemon um, balm or my lemon yeah lemon balm it has these brown spots whenever you see these brown spots on any of your herbs always remove these leaves and discard of them in the garbage otherwise this is gonna spread to your other plants and damage your plants this is called leaf spot you don't you don't want this in your garden so as much as you hate to, to throw this away dump it because it will spread and damage your other leaves all right guys look at my free butternut squash pumpkin remember guys on that same day october 3rd i stuck a couple seeds in here never planted butternut squash in my life but look at my butternut squash guys i just pollinated this one one week ago and look how huge it is and look at this other one that came out after so these are two seeds in a very small bag it's a five gallon bag so i don't think i'm gonna get a whole ton but if i even only get these two i'll be very happy but as you can see more blossoms are coming out and then look here oh my gosh look at my parsley my parsley has taken off it's huge um my these are more baby bok chow that are definitely ready to harvest so i'm gonna be pulling these out whenever you see your plants starting to, to flower that's what they call bolted right so these flowers are actually gonna have seeds in it so i'm gonna allow a couple of mine to go to seed so i can have seeds for next for the next season but however these are baby bok chow so these are fully ready to harvest so i'll probably wait like a day or two till i'm ready to actually cook it i like to cook it pick it and cook it fresh from the garden and i think that's about it this oregano this um moringa was grown from seed and i'm gonna teach you about i'm gonna do a video very soon about the benefits of moringa and show you how to plant these and then lastly lastly i want to show you this is for an upcoming video look at my aloe have you guys ever seen aloe this beautiful this is another superfood it has a ton of nutrition and benefits for the hair for the skin for your body so we're gonna do a video about this soon and that's all I had for today um, thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share this video YouTube likes when you like the video and especially when you leave comments because it shows that you're interested so please leave a comment today and share the video oh and lastly um, may you may she rest in peace my papaya my very first I think my very first video on my second video she didn't make it after Etta so we chopped it up but I propped this up and who knows I see a little sign of green here there are two leaves so who knows what will happen it's not supposed to grow back but hey miracles do happen so we'll see what happens but I've been eating my papayas as they ripen I've used some as vegetable like like um, chayote but that's it until next time thanks so much for watching Bye.